Hi everybody, I know we skipped one week last week, uh, technical difficulties. But anyway, today I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna try to do something at home, which is uh, pizza. Now you can get pita bread, or in this case it's actually mini naans, um, to make mini pizzas for the kids, and it's really very simple, and very versatile. So what I have here is the bread, of course, it's pre-cooked. I'm gonna put some tomato paste on it. You can also put, um, you know, pizza sauce if you can get that. But marinara tends to be a little bit too watery, so I like it a little bit thicker, just like that, right? Then you can put anything you want. Yes, you can have some. I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese, can right? You have some right now. <laughs> Over there, look. Over here. Okay. So I'm just gonna put. Don't overdo it because it's gonna smother all over. Okay. And we'll do with this one with asparagus. Uh, I've just cut it in half so it cooks a little faster, right? And we'll just put it some here, some there, right like that. Uh, maybe some tomatoes. Right, and that's good enough. Don't overdo it again, because then it'll make a mess. A little bit of pepper, right? And let's make two before we actually stick them in the oven. Okay, so here's another one. Just put a little bit of tomato sauce, tomato paste. You can even do it without tomato and make a, a blanco, a white pizza. And, well, how about pepperoni? Salami. You put any meats you want. One and two is good, not too much. And some cheese. Right. That's good. I'm gonna put a little bit of chopped minced garlic, like really fine. Okay. And these two are good to go in. Oh, why not some tomato? Here little bit of greens or vegetable although it's technically a fruit but okay so I have the oven on at about 450 just now and in it is this griddle pan okay so the griddle pan is really hot it simulates a pizza stone And then the broiler is on, not right now actually, instead of uh, the oven, because I want the heat to come on from the top. You gotta put it in, and it's actually gonna be done in seconds, really. Uh, you gotta watch it, because the broiler is gonna come on. My broiler is really strong with, from this uh, gas broiler, so I actually gotta watch it by the second to see when it's done and pull it out. But we're looking at maybe 30 seconds to a minute at most uh, before it starts burning on you. So if you want to take a look, this has been less than 30 seconds. You can see, you know, there's already the cheese is already melting, right? Um, vegetables are already cooking. Vegetables don't really have to cook a very long time because you know they're just veggies. So I'm looking to take it out. See some smoking. So you don't have a brick oven. That's how you simulate a brick oven. Okay. And I think that's good. That's done. I'm gonna take it out, right? And the other one as well. I'll take it out. It's gonna be a little bit of charring on the sides, but you want that smoky flavor. You can also cut it out, but you kind of want some charring. If it's not, then it's very, very bland. Okay, so that's pizza. We're gonna do another one, and I'll show you. Maybe, oh yeah, so for the ones with meat, I like to add in a uh, little bit of greens, right? So we're gonna add in some arugula. 
as it's still hot, it will tend to wilt down a little bit. And I also have some olive oil, right? So just drizzle some olive oil over it. And that's pizza, right? Uh, cheese is melted. You can add more mozzarella if you want or parmesan, but it's easy to eat when it's small because you can just grab it up like that and just eat it like this, right? And it's better than everything you can, most stuff you can buy outside. Nice meat, everything's heated through. Um, that's why you don't put too much stuff. Okay? So you can do anything you want, but try to get fresh mozzarella if you can. Um, you can do it with smoked salmon as well. Um, tomatoes, again, I've just halved it, so it cooks faster. And same with the vegetables. Um, so that's pizza. Hope you try this at home. Don't be afraid to do pizza at home so you don't have to order anymore. Thanks.